Hello, students and parents. My name is Mrs. Schneck, and I'm one of the ninth grade language arts teachers at Mountain Creek Middle School. It's my second year now at Mountain Creek, so I've been here since we opened our doors the last year, and it's my eighth year teaching. I'm originally from Ohio. I'm a mama of two little girls. I love reading, writing, yoga, video games, and also cats. I'm a little bit of a crazy cat lady. So tonight I'm gonna go over some highlights of my disclosure document. This is not the whole thing. To view the whole thing, go to our Canvas course, flip through those slides, and then sign it at the end for me. The best way to contact me is my email. My email address is on the screen for you. I typically respond within about 24 hours, unless it's a weekend or a break. Our curriculum for the class, we're gonna read some awesome books this year. First quarter is the classic dystopian novel, Fahrenheit 451. We'll do some literary analysis and also a mock trial. So we'll put one of the characters on trial to see if they are guilty. Second quarter is Romeo and Juliet by the one and only Shakespeare. We'll learn a little bit about the Bard and Elizabethan England, which is the time period in which he lived. We'll do some more literary analysis and have a fun competition in class as well. Quarter three is Salt of the Sea by Ruta Cepetis. This is historical fiction set at the end of World War II. It's about a true event, the sinking of the Wilhelm Gustloff. This was a ship carrying almost 10,000 refugees who were fleeing Germany at the end of World War II. And unfortunately it was torpedoed and it sank and many, many people lost their lives. We'll also be doing argument writing that quarter writing some short stories so you can flex those creative muscles and doing a human rights presentation. Quarter four is Challenger Deep by Neil Schusterman. This is about a teenage boy who has schizophrenia. We'll be doing some reading journals as you read this book and also a mental health research project. Now, a lot of the projects that we do in class will have some freedom, so you'll be able to choose topics that are interesting to you and explore those a little bit. Same with the book projects, you can choose whatever book you'd like to read for that quarter. My supplies are pretty minimal. We'll be doing most things digitally on our Canvas course, but I do need you to bring a personal reading book every day to class. I'm gonna have you reading your book project book in class as often as I can. Bring some earbuds, headphones, whatever you've got for lessons that might have a video component or an audio component. Your mask, of course, and then also I recommend a water bottle just to keep you hydrated. I will have some extra supplies available if you forget like your book or your headphones, but of course those are used at your own risk. We'll try to keep those as clean as possible. I do use standard space grading, so everything that you see will be out of four points. In Skyward, I put in your assessments based on the standard that's assessed. So some assessments you might see as multiple grades in Skyward. For example, your argument essays, I assess four separate standards, so those are gonna go in to Skyward as four separate grades, all for the same essay. Anything that you do in my class, any assessments, you can retake or remediate within two weeks of receiving your grade. Your overall score will be 90% assessments, those are gonna be like the big essays, projects, quizzes, and then 10% the practice work that's gonna prepare you for the assessments. I don't give a lot of homework in my class, but we do have that, that brand new digital learning day on Fridays where you will have work to do at home. I'm available Fridays if you wanna come in, remediate assignments. I might request you to come in. We can Zoom too if that makes you more comfortable. And then your personal reading book, if you don't finish it in class for your book project, then you will have to do some reading at home and any work that you don't complete in class, you'll be doing at home as well. This year, if you're sick, we really do want you to stay home just to keep us all safe. It's really easy to keep up to date with my class, even if you do have to miss it. Everything's on Canvas. I've got a calendar with dates so you can keep up with everything that we're doing. Also check Skyward, email me. There's ways that we can keep you up to date, even if you have to be absent. But that's it for me. I'm really excited to meet you guys. I know this year is gonna look a little bit different than previous years, but we're gonna get through it together. We've got this. So I will see you soon.